You might know that back in the day, before there were MP3 players, iPhones, and CD players, there were records. Well, you might want to, back in the day, record something on a cassette. R-E-C-O-R-D could be record, the noun, or record, the verb. How do you know the difference? Well, that one you can tell based on pronunciation. But there's some others that you could only tell based on context. You could read a book, noun, or you could book an appointment, verb. That one, pronunciation is exactly the same. You can only tell in context. My name is Paul Bazooka, IB Masters Learning Center, and IBMasters.com. And today, we are going to look at Test 5, Section 1, Number 10, which is vocabulary in context. Number 10 reads, as used in line 93, becoming most nearly means. So what you want to do for this one, just like with the book example or the record example, let's say it was like, hey, what part of speech is book or what part of speech is record? You don't want to just say, oh, book is a noun or book is a verb. You've got to read the context in order to figure it out. Same idea here. So the first rule for this type of a question is ignore any meaning of the word that you're familiar with. You want to get it answer 100% based on context. Second thing is, you can think of your own word that would fit the context, or it might be words that would fit the context, or it might just be, hey, what is this sentence saying? All those things could be helpful in answering the question. Number three, you can put each answer choice in place of the original word. That's usually effective. You gotta watch out, a lot of times it's a secondary definition of a word in question. It's also a secondary definition of the correct answer. And then lastly, you could look for parallel structure, what word corresponds, and the word is going to be a synonym or an antonym to whatever that corresponding word is. And a lot of times there's not parallel structure, but there is a synonym or an antonym to the word either before or after. If you can identify that, then that's helpful. Let's see which of those hints are helpful for number 10. So we're going to go to nine, line 93, where we see the word becoming. And all the way at the end, we see the word becoming right here. So I'm gonna get back up a sentence, just get a little bit of context. We've got, the young man had never for one second deserted Mr. Peters. He, meaning the young man, was always there, tugging at Mr. Peters' elbow, making him do things that were not becoming of a man of 45. And hopefully you can tell from that context if not, there's another little bit uh, of a hint before he's 45 years old and he straightens his tie self-consciously and when Irma handed him the menu, he gestured with it so the two women at the next table would notice that the diamond ring on his fourth finger of his right hand. So, and then it gets a little abstract, but basically it sounds like he's like kind of trying to show off, impress the ladies. 45-year-old guy, and it sounds like based on the passage, he's got a grown son. So what's he trying to do? He's kind of acting like a teenager. So when it says he's, it's not becoming of a man of 45, you would want to think of your own word. And I have my own word in mind, but I'm not going to say it unless it's not an answer choice. And so we go to the answer choices. I would say it's not appropriate for a man of 45. So what I've got to do is I've got to see what best matches some behavior being not appropriate for a man of 45. And so we see not emerging of a man of 45. So emerge and become, they are synonyms in a different context. So if something's coming into being, then it's emerging, but that doesn't fit here. Now we said not appropriate for a man of 45. Not fitting for a man of 45 seems to fit that context. And notice, I had my own word, and I'm also thinking of the context and putting it in, uh, in place, and both those things are helpful. Not developing of a man of 45. And again, becoming and developing could be synonyms in a different context, but not this one. And not happening of a man of 45 doesn't really make sense either. So the correct answer here is B. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with vocabulary and context questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.